test strategy how to create a powerful test strategy let us begin with discussing what is a test strategy as you know strategy means using the resources at one's disposal to achieve the desired objectives effectively test strategy means a plan that details how the testing objectives would be met effectively like any other strategy the test strategy may be defined at different levels you may have a test strategy at the organization level at a program level or at a project level the thing is that it may not be called a test strategy at the organization or department or program level it may just exist as a management policy or as a part of a governance plan at the project level the test strategy may just be part of the test plan further depending on the nature of the project the test strategy defined at the project level may or may not satisfy the test strategy outlined at a higher level before what are the advantages of an effective test strategy the advantages are it mitigates the risk to objective testing it helps focus on different aspects of the system under test by using distinct test phases such as unit testing integration test testing system testing and so on test strategy provides clarity on the required people procedures tools and infrastructure test strategy can be used to communicate the test approach to the various stakeholders such as clients projects or test managers developers and testers in the project if you want to define a powerful test strategy for your project or program or organization you should consider the following tips Number 1 before you define your test strategy you should research the clients and the end users with respect to their needs and expectations from the application Number 2 your test strategy should aim at satisfying just the test objectives Number 3 you may need to create two versions of your test strategy depending on the situation one for communicating to all and a detailed or a tailored test strategy for agreement with the key stakeholders Number 4 you have the option of having different kinds of focus in different test phases but do not go overboard with defining too many test phases with overlapping effort in other words economize with the test phases define only the ones which you think are really required number 5 your test strategy should be totally customized according to your specific situation What has worked for other companies or what has worked for your company in the past may not apply to your current situation. Number 6. You should consider the required test environment while designing your test strategy. You should have at least one test environment that is the same or is a replica of the production environment in which the system is going to work. Further, your test strategy should assume the most common test environment configurations for the most part. Number 7. Your test strategy should define the testing tools for testing defect management system or automated testing. It is best if you evaluated the testing tools yourself. If not, base your decision on choosing the testing tools on reliable vendor agnostic tools and the popular user reports. Number 8 You should look at any defined test processes for example entry criteria suspension criteria resumption criteria exit criteria for test the process to execute the test cases and the process to report a defect etc to examine their feasibility in your situation ideally the required test processes for you that will be reused modified or created from scratch Number 9 identify the data that will be recorded measured analyzed and reported to show the progress of your testing Number 10 challenge all assumptions while you design your test strategy provide safeguards if any of the prior assumptions prove incorrect later And finally remember that a powerful test strategy is never static You should monitor the results obtained from the test strategy and do not hesitate to make the desired modifications to your test strategy